Welcome to my apartment. So by the entrance, we have this camera intercom. Please come in. So this is the Genkan. It is relatively small, but it's pretty common in most Japanese apartments. So this is the size of the Genkan. I'm sorry, it's a little bit, you know, dirty because it's been snowing a lot these days and it's just very difficult to clean. That's why we have the shovel over here. And by the Genkan, we have the shoe closet. So the shoe closet is relatively big and it fits all our shoes. By the way, I live with my boyfriend, so both of our shoes are all here. We can also store other items here like our masks. So whenever we're going out, it's just easy to get them. I also set this up by the entrance and obviously I haven't updated the decorations yet. This is still for New Year's and Christmas. But yeah, I need to change those soon. Also here, since it's winter now, we have our Cairo or heat packs here so that they're easy to grab whenever we're going out. I also put the umbrella over here. It's so pretty when the lights are off. So like this. Yay. So I really like that I added this one. I got this organizer from the 100 yen store. I'm not sure which one. Maybe it's Daiso or Seria. Also added this mirror that I got from Daiso here by the Genkan so that we can see ourselves before we go out. From the Genkan, we have the rag and our indoor slippers. We don't bring our shoes, outdoor shoes inside the house. So we always have indoor slippers here and we leave the dirty shoes here by the genkan or by the by the entrance and then once you enter the house you are welcomed by three doors so let's explore all these doors to our right this is the door that will take us to the kitchen the living room the bathroom and the balcony so here i hang all the bags that i usually use on the daily my work bag and also my shopping bags. So let's explore this door first. Let's enter. And welcome to our kitchen and dining area. By the way, this apartment is a 2DK, which means two bedrooms and one dining and kitchen area. Okay. So just to give you an overall look, of the kitchen it's like this so this is the cooking area the washing area and we have there um some of the appliances our dining area and our bath from the genkan you're greeted by this so we have hand sanitizer over here although we always we rarely use this because we wash our hands when we enter the house and then here we have the light switch and the light remote control. So I really like this, but I wish we have this in our bedrooms instead. I am not sure why the owner of the apartment decided to have the control in the dining and kitchen instead of the bedrooms. But anyway, we have this intercom. And here we can see from the inside of the house to wh whoever is trying to, you know, enter the house or whoever is ringing the bell. So it's just a nice addition to this apartment, but it's pretty common. I think almost all apartments have intercoms. We also have here some of our cleaning tools, like the vacuum cleaner and the floor sweeper. And also, this I got from Seria. It's a 100 yen store or a dollar store. And it's just very useful whenever we try, whenever I want to refill the bags of our trash bins over here. It's just very easy to get um, a refill bag. 
this is our garbage area our recycling area so these two um trash cans they are for the burnable ones burnable and non-burnable ones and these bags are for the recyclable in our city they really encourage everyone to recycle their bottles and other recyclable items so we we try we try to do our best to recycle whenever we can and for the bottles the bottle caps and other recyclable items here this part of the apartment is our cooking area so this is our gas stove i believe we are using the city gas which is to be honest a little bit expensive um let me show you this if you are living in japan so i'm sure you're using this in one of your in your home but i'm sorry i'm just i always cook that's why it looks like that it's very useful because you know when you're cooking you don't want the oil to splash all over the place so this kind of prevents that and it's only 100 yen so once it gets really dirty and you know you don't want to use it anymore you can just easily recycle and buy a new one because it's so cheap so just like any other regular stoves in japan we have two burners and a fish grill although it says it's a fish grill i mainly we mainly use this for toast and reheating pizza the gas stoves in japan use batteries like this so the light will tell you if you need to replace the battery and then right here we have the cooking pans actually this is not very organized i'm not sure if i want to show this but here we are <laughs> so i got these organizers from the 100 yen store i think from seria and it's just very useful because i can easily hang the things that i usually use whenever i'm cooking and then here i have the cooking pans cooking pots and the cooking oil and the refill for my condiments okay so the next section in our apartment is the condiment section so my boyfriend got this for me from Nitori, I forgot how much, but it's just really nice. And I've always wanted to organize the spices and condiments that I use because I cook a lot and I just want them all to be in one place so that they're easy to reach whenever I'm cooking. So we have here the vinegar, mirin, or sweet rice wine, soy sauce, and sake, cooking sake, pepper, salt, and a bunch of condiments this is garlic powder dashi um sesame seed cinnamon curry powder this is for steak this is all in one it's very useful it's salt and pepper in one bottle and some chicken stock powder also a lot of other condiments here we have the herbs over here sugar vanilla vanilla syrup vanilla essence and other herbs we also got these gloves from the 100 yen store it's from daiso so this is very useful especially when you're preparing meat so that your hands will not be dirty and you will not contaminate anything else in the kitchen or any other ingredient so it's very useful i also like that it says you can touch your smartphone using these gloves but i feel like that goes against the whole purpose of wearing gloves but i guess if you're using it not for cooking it's you know it makes sense and then we have this sweet and sour sweet and sweet chili sauce which is very useful and these daiso alcohol wipes as well to clean the area and paper towel it's very important Again, another thing that we got from a 100 yen store, although this is not 100 yen, I think this was 300 yen when we bought this. So I'm really, I'm very, I'm very OC about cross-contamination when it comes to cooking. So I really wanted like separate chopping boards for every kind of ingredient. So this is for fish, veggies, and 
for meat. So in our kitchen, we have some drawers and cabinets. So let me show you what we have inside. So the first drawer, the top drawer has some, you know, more cooking items. Um, we have star anise, some more condiments, flour. Oh, this one I really like. Dried negi, dried spring onions. I use this on everything. And I got this from my family. You know, when you're a Filipino, you cannot live without this. And this one is from my friend. She went to Portugal. Hello, Jamila San. Shout out to you. And she got this for me. Also, I have this from my family, Lying. And Dinuguan. I think I still have Dinuguan here. Yes, I haven't eaten them yet. And I got this from my mom as well. She sent this to me last year. At Suete. I'm not sure what atsuete is called in English, but yeah, it adds color and special, really nice flavor to any kind of dish. The second drawer is our utensils. So we have the spoon and fork, chopsticks, um, peeling items, peeling tools, <laughs> what do you call those? Scissors, cooking scissors, and a bunch of other items here. And then the bottom drawer, which is the biggest one, is where we store our plates and bowls. So these ones are the ones that we mainly use every day, like our this ones, the small saucers, these ones for the sauce. I think if you live in a Japanese house, it's just pretty standard to have one of these for sauces. These other two cabinets are for refills and um recyclables we also have here this knife knives organizer which i really liked when i first saw it i was like oh that really makes sense you know you don't want to accidentally cut yourself trying to get the knife when it's mixed with other utensils so i'm glad we have this this beautiful waterproof kitchen mat from costco it was very cheap it was on sale when we got this so I'm really happy to have this in a kitchen. We have two additional cupboards here. Another detail in our kitchen and washing area is this light. It's very good, it's very nice because when you're preparing or cooking at night, you know, the main light is not really enough to provide lighting. Also, I forgot to mention that our kitchen comes with this really nice hood exhaust fan and it has a light of its own so like this so when you're cooking you can really see what you're doing so that is our cooking area to be honest when we were trying to find an apartment here in the city i chose i wanted this apartment because of the kitchen I really liked how big the sink is compared to my previous apartment and how there's a window like right there. I think it's just great when you're cooking, you can just easily open the window unless it's so cold outside. And yeah, I think it's just really nice. Don't have an oven toaster, but we have a microwave oven and an average size refrigerator. To be honest, I want a bigger one but yeah that's not the priority right now hopefully i'll get a bigger refrigerator soon and then right here we have this organizer i got from saria as well you can just store neatly your cooking sheet aluminum foil and saran wrap also this one is a life saver if you live in japan i highly recommend you buy this so this is like a regular plastic bag, right? But actually, no. You can use this to store things or food items in your freezer, even pizza, vegetables, meat. And you can boil the food using, you know, even if it's still in the bag. And you can even microwave it. It's microwavable. And it's only 100 yen. Also here, 
we have the timer and garbage disposal guide we got this when we first moved here and we just kept it and you know kept it on display to remind us how important recycling is and garbage disposal is next we have our rice cooker so i really like this rice cooker because it makes this really nice sound it has music like when you start cooking it will give you some music i don't know if i can show you that maybe i can like that okay i hope this video won't get demonetized and yeah i'll just cancel because i'm not cooking anything and i have this air fryer i got this last year yes i think my boyfriend bought this for me as well so thank you my love well this is my lifesaver so far it's a stool that it's like a step ladder kind of like that that definitely helps me a lot when trying to reach high things in this house i feel like this apartment is built for tall people my boyfriend doesn't have any issues with that but definitely not for me and then next here we have our kettle electric kettle our rice and our water actually water in japan is potable you can drink it it's just that we really like the taste of this water and it's not the price is not that bad we buy this from costco so it's not too bad and then other ingredients for cooking pasta sugar things that don't fit in the in the drawers and also our so because of the pandemic it's been really difficult to go out and eat out so we decided to buy our own grill so we don't need to go to yakiniku restaurants a lot we just grill at home we just buy meat from the grocery store or the supermarket or the butcher and we just grill at home but the main issue is the smell and the smoke really even if the exhaust fan is turned on the smoke is just everywhere and then we found out that there's this grill that actually makes cooking you know lessens the smoke and actually it works i hope i can show it to you next time and then our hot pot is over here so the next part of our dk or the dining and kitchen is our dining area which to be honest we rarely use these days because it's just so cold winter in japan is so cold so we usually eat dinner in front of our television in our bedroom where it's nice and warm <laughs> so this is a table from ikea it's really nice i will show you later why i love it so much and then we have here our coffee station we are using dolce gusto i don't know is that dolce gusto or gusto i'm not sure which uses these coffee pods i really like it because you know you can try different flavors and then this waffle maker that i got from the gaming game center we also have these fake flowers <laughs> um yeah they they look really nice so i bought okay i'm gonna show you now why i love this table so much so here you can actually extend you just need to grab something underneath and now your table is longer i think it's just very useful especially when you have people over and you know it's not always just the two of you so this provides extra space also when we have special occasions so it's the two of us and then we put the food on that side so that we don't you know go to the cooking area and then back to our table Ooh, and you might be wondering what this is this is an air freshener it's it uses batteries oh i think a battery only or maybe two batteries two double a batteries but it's really good because it automatically diffuses scent um air freshener every 60 minutes you can set the timer 50 every 15 minutes every 30 minutes or every hour so we set it to every hour so the kitchen always smells good it really does smell good 
and i think the main reason why we got it is because you know especially in winter we cannot really open the window and get fresh air a lot because it's just so freezing cold so we have this instead next is our bathroom so when we were first checking this house before we signed the lease i was like what is this door to be honest i've never seen anything like this in japan before and apparently it's an old style i think old houses have this but yeah regardless of the age it's still nice so this is our laundry area slash bathroom so here we are welcomed with a space heater um before we had this i usually run after taking a shower because <laughs> it's so cold but now we can just turn this on and it warms the room this small space up so it's not too difficult to get ready after taking a shower um the laundry detergent we use this laundry the detergent pods from costco and this one i really like the smell of this fabric conditioner fabric softener and then this is our washing machine. We designed, we redecorate, we redecorated this one ourselves. We added the stickers ourselves because we got this washing machine from someone. We bought this really cheap, and you know the condition, how it looked was not really nice. So we're like, you know, instead of throwing this, we can just hmm, do something to still use it. It still worked perfectly fine. It just didn't look very nice so yes we removed everything and we added this covers and we just wrote down the important ones that we generally use and here we have the laundry bin this is also very nice i got this from amazon because you can put the your clean towels over here which is really nice i really like it and here we hang our hand towel, comb, and I don't know why I still have this. I need to get rid of that. And also this, I got this organizer from Daiso. This is a soap cupcake from a friend. And all these, the decorations are from Daiso. I have here my makeup and the blow dryer, the hair straightener and some headbands and here we have the vanity mirror <laughs> the vanity mirror or the main kind of bath sink or where we brush our teeth wash our face and do the night routine face routine beauty routine skin routine what do you call that anyway that one we do that here and i really love this sink because of the faucet let me show you why so this faucet, I don't know, maybe it's normal in other, in other people's houses, but it's my first time having this kind of faucet. So you can pull it, it extends there. So you can wash everything. And not only that, but you can also adjust the height of the faucet. Hmm. So I can see this being really useful. Let's say you have a baby or... I don't know <laughs> something to wash that requires elevation i think it can be really useful we have our mouthwash here and our hand soap over here this is also where we keep again our skincare routine um they are the products that i've been using for so many years now but i encourage i got i got my boyfriend into the cult of asian beauty skincare so he's using them now which I am really happy about. This is a very nice product. This is a really good brand. It's a Japanese brand and it's kind of expensive. To be honest, I cannot afford this myself, but my friend gifted this to me. So I'm so happy. Thank you so much. We also have the main house switch in this area. So maybe if you're new to Japan, you turn on several appliances at the same time and then suddenly everything is out. So I didn't know what to do when I experienced it for the first time. And then I discovered that 
every house, every apartment has the main switch. You just need to reset everything, turn everything off, and then turn everything back on. So it's actually very useful to know that you have this in your place. Okay, so this is not going to be called a bathroom without an actual bath. And you know, Japanese apartments, I think all Japanese apartments have baths in them because Japanese people love taking baths. So the door is like this. It's like a folding slash sliding door. And this is where the magic happens. <laughs> this is the general bath area. So it has this. You know, when I, we when we were first checking this um, apartment, I thought, like, what are these stains? Are they like blood stains? Maybe something scary happened here before. But actually, that's the design. That's part of the design. So yeah, they're not blood stains. And all bats have this control panel where you can control the temperature. Like that. Adjust the temperature to um, Yep, and just in case you missed this one, it tells you what temperature you chose. I think it makes sense, especially for people who have no sight, to tell them what temperature they set it to. You can also set the timer, like when you want the water, the hot water warm bath to start flowing. So let's say you're, you want it to be everything you want to set everything up after work so you can just go right in it's possible to do that so we have that and then these we have this nice like exhaust fan all our products all the products that we use here we have the shampoo conditioner bath soap my boyfriend's shaving gel his face wash my face wash i really love this brand and yes that's pretty much it also i really like that this shower so we have this so you know again people love taking baths so we have this chair here and we have the mirror over here <laughs> hello to my neck what is this fashion but if you decide to you know sit down and wash yourself in front of the mirror there is this, you can place the shower head over here. But if you just want a quick shower, you can place your shower above over there, which I find very considerate. Yeah, the design, Japanese design is just really on another level. So that is the bath area. Oh, I think I forgot to show you that the vanity mirror has another set of lights. So here. It's not called a vanity mirror for nothing. So you can really see the makeup you're applying on or the skincare routine that you're doing, which I think is amazing. So now that we're done with the bathroom, it's time to explore our first room. So this is one of the bedrooms, but we don't use it as a bedroom. Instead, this is our main living area. Please listen carefully. 